Talk about John Forrest for just a minute now. His winless streak is now at 29 races. He last won Topeka in 08. And some funny car qualifying history here. Man, there's some big names there. 1988, yeah. that was a top eight qualifiers uh, from Kenny Bernstein all the way down to Bruce Larson. Uh, somebody, some guy in six uh, doesn't really quite fit in there with all these other big names because there's a lot of former champions right there. Six out of eight to be exact. In 88, you had top speed of the race, guy. Come on, blow your horn a little bit here. Tell the people who you used to be. Yeah, I used to be somebody, <laughs> but not anymore. Well, Gary Denton and Don John Forrest coming up to the line now. This is a classic matchup. You know, John Forrest up against his good friend Gary Denton and former teammate. Uh, Gary's the only time he's uh, only national events wins. He's got eight, and they were all when he was driving for John Forrest would love nothing better than to get his first win as a car owner. But first, first he has to get around his old boss. And he Whoa, does it. Oh, baby. How about and that? And that's Gary Denson's own car. You remember, he was racing for Haddock, now in his own car, and he takes down John Forrest. Boy, are we seeing a day here? How about that? I we like are seeing it. some upsets, I want to tell you. Man, Gary Denson, what can you say? Let's take a look at John Force though, because uh, he got in some uh, trouble. He made it through the shake zone. Then when they start applying the clutch, I mean, he had hooked pretty, going pretty straight, and as soon as it spun the tires, it backfired. So it was done at that point, but he was going to catch Gary anyway, because Gary makes a nice run to run that 421 elapsed time. I'll tell you, lane choice, everybody's been taking that right lane, but there is nothing wrong with this left lane. The people here at Infineon Raceway have done a great job of prepping the track along with the safety safari. This uh, track uh, is holding up very well in the, in the heat right now. Well, here is the Lucas Oil ladder in Funny Car. Guess what? Dencham now will take on Cruz Pedregon, who, of course, took down the number one qualifier. And uh, then you look down a little bit further. Tim Wilkerson, Bob Tasca, their teammates, they'll face each other. And look at these matchups on the other side of the ladder. Mike Neff and Tony Petgon, Ron Caps, and Robert Hyde. It doesn't get any better than that. Hey, G-Man, I'm guessing Gary Densham's pretty happy. Boy, you betcha. He popped out of that helmet with that big Densham smile. The stats over the years when you weren't a teammate for John Force, I think this is the 29th time you faced him, only the fourth time you've beaten him. What's that feel like? That feels great. You know, obviously, I know how great that team is over there, but, you know, on any given day, we can beat him. We've got a great team of our own. Wish we could run more, but, you know, thanks to Lawson Rock and Oil and, and you know, Cummins West and, and Valley Trucking, and, you know, we're, we're here. Uh, I'm really, you know, so excited. You know, I mean, an old guy likes me to come out, and i got to show those pups that's good every once in a while, you know? And, uh, you know, we're loving life, but Quan International trying to break our sport international and globally, it's something we really need to do. And remember, Gary's just a little bit older than John Forrest. Way to go, old fella. Thank you, buddy. Appreciate it. <laughs>